What's up guys? Welcome back to Dotions Games and today's video is actually thanks to you guys. Like I didn't think that you guys would actually <laughs> give so much feedback and you know put so much uh, thought into some of your comments, some of your comments, not all of your comments, some of your comments in regards to the video that I put out, Sword Art Online Integral Factor is not free to play friendly Bandai Fixture game, uh, which I'll go ahead and I'll put a link down in the description below and at the end of the video uh, for for you guys to watch that video if you've not done so yet. So this is a full on, you know, I'm reading your comments and I'm responding to the comments. I'm actually taking this out of Animated Muscles hat because he did this for some of his Dokkan videos. And I, I, like, I've been responding to the video or to the comments on this video. So I thought it'd be a good idea to like to get us all involved one step further. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and read the comments and even the comments that I've responded to, I'm going to go ahead and, and add a little bit more. Uh, thought process, I guess, for it. Uh, first one, Bandai just fix it. Yeah, yeah you know, Bandai fi busy fixing Dokkan. That's funny. Uh, Bandai has too many games to fix. Integra Factors Universe 2, Dokkan has that bad game. Fa uh, Fighters or whatever other game. It's ridiculous. They make so they make this much money on games that have poor action to them uh, after about a few months have passed. You know, that's, that's kind of true, Arco, in a sense. Because if you look at most of their console games... Most of their console games, they're actually very well done. Uh, you look at uh, the Sword Art Online console games. So you have uh, Hollow Fragment. You have, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, Lost Song, Hollow Realization, Fatal Bullet. All those games are actually very well done. Uh, you, look at, um, you look at the Tales games, which the Tales games is one of their flagship uh, series. So any of the Tales games are all very well done. Like they, they throw all their money at those games and they, they do them very well because, because, the big because, those games are developed in-house. Okay, those games are developed by Bandai. Okay, it's not that Bandai slaps their logo on it and calls it a day like they do with the mobile games. All the mobile games, none of them are developed by Bandai, but because Bandai owns the rights to the video games for those games, their logo is slapped on it, but the but the games are actually made by someone else. Integral Factor is made by Ace Obimo. You have Legends, Dragon Ball Legends is made by Dimps. You have uh, Xenoverse, which is made by Dimps. You have uh, Fighters, which was uh, Arc Systems, and it's not that Fighters is a bad game it's not it's just the hype died out too quickly we all we all as youtubers and everybody else hyped it up too much we're like oh this is gonna be the best game ever and then it turned out where it's just like it just died um so you know uh akatsuki is in charge of dokkan so the games that bandai is not in charge of they kind of suck but the bandai the the games that bandai puts all their money into and it actually develops in house and and is full on within the development of those games those games are actually really good so let's go to the next one. Uh, Lucius, honestly, they, the rates need to be changed completely. They're way too low. The boss events were really good. Best way to get those items uh, on as long before grinding. Um, and, and I put that the rates do need to be changed. Uh, that is true. The rates the rates are really trash. Um, I, I have no nothing else to say to that. And uh, and so like I, I just released a video, which again I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll put at the end of this video, uh, where I, I I said that. You know, they should have skills, free to play, farmable four star skills that you farm from the bosses. So we get their attack animations and stuff like that, you know, because that, that would be a lot of fun. That's a good suggestion for developers to repeat previous events to save money on making new events. OK, this also allows them to prepare more content in the future about uh, in the future about Arcana Gems, even though you don't need that many good skills to do well. I would still prefer to have cool skills. It's not a fun spamming two-star skills. Yeah, I mean, they need to have ways to be able to farm Arcana Gems for free-to-play players, like, on a weekly basis. I, I think it'd be really cool. Like, I'm not saying to have us be able to farm 2,500 Arcana Gems, but have us so that way maybe we can farm 2,500 Arcana Gems within two weeks. I think that'd be cool. Or maybe make the banners... All discounted on the first step like they do in memory defrag so memory defrags banners every banner is half off for the first time and when the banners drop we have ways to farm memory diamonds in order to uh, summon on those banners for the first time at least Bandai fix it at PvP yeah I you know that's something that I've seen a lot of is, is people wanting PvP I've seen that a lot um, I'm scrolling too fast here uh, it's probably not possible but imagine events with crossovers uh, I don't see crossovers happening in this game. And the main reason is because SAO is SAO. Like, I really don't see crossovers happening like that. Uh, 
you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to read the, the rest of it because you're, you're going more into the crossover stuff. I don't really, honestly, I don't see crossovers happening in this game at all. Uh, this game could be better if the Arcana gems were cheaper. Yes. Yes. They should make them cheaper for sure. Uh, yeah, I fell for the step and dished 7,500 gems and got nothing. Oh, he, okay. He's talking about the step up banners that are really trash. Not a single four star with the rates up either. The rates are, are not up. You're talking about 1.3 and then the last step is 2%. 2 that is not a rates up banner considering that we had 6% before. Uh, definitely not paying money to this game. Just hope to get that 1% glimmer of hope. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Um, we need PVP. Yeah, see a lot of people were putting that. Uh, when is part two? I, I already released that next one. They should give us four star skill order every 11 roll. So this guy wants a guaranteed four star for every banner. Um, maybe down the line they'll do that. I, it's They should have had that implemented from the beginning uh, because they're doing that with their other games. So it, it should have just been that way from the beginning. Or at least, like I mentioned, or at least have step ups where the last step is guaranteed. But the first two steps are always discounted. Uh, that's why I quit. <laughs> Oh, gamer, you're funny. I have nothing to complain on the game except a few things. Expensive gems, okay. Uh, shit rates on the banner, okay. And no PvP. All right. I agree. Okay. <laughs> I agree. Uh, I completely agree at this time of the comment. I haven't finished the video, but yeah, I, I was free to play at the beginning, but now where they led the game. Yeah, so it used to be free to play at the beginning. If you watch my uh, how free to play friendly is SAO Integral Factor video, you would have seen that I was all for the game being free to play friendly because it actually pretty was like it was pretty, pretty good for free to play games or free to play players, but not anymore. I'm okay with the crafting system, but bosses should have a low chance of dropping special equipment. Uh, I have a video on that coming. Um, let's see. Those uh, band of higher ups should really watch this video. I wish they would. Chances are very slim that they actually would, but the more that you guys share videos like this, the more likely it is that somebody is going to see it that they might be able to do something. Uh, that That's the biggest thing is like if you guys share this on Twitter, share it on, on Reddit and all these other places that, that might have somebody, might, very slim chance, but might have somebody that could see this, then that would help me, it would help the community and stuff like that. Um, Oh, and he, he had more. It'd be great if they had a daily dungeon like this, but permanently. Uh, they don't have to give us as many now for those. Perma so he's saying like a uh, a dungeon where you could grind Arcana Gems periodically. I I could see something like that, but then that, that goes back to... Sorry, that goes back to what we used to have, which was the um, in the Black Iron Gates with the... What was it? The Dark Tower where you grind on each floor so you could grind one floor every day. Or like they would release one floor every day for you to grind, and then you grind the floors for Arcana gems. That's what we used to have. So if you play, if you guys played from the beginning, then you would know about the Dark Tower. Uh, you're doing great. That thanks. I, I, I mean, I'm I'm doing okay. Uh, totally agree. Is why I stopped playing the game. Focus on playing Fate Grand Order. Never played the game. I've seen people play it. Never played it. Uh, Omnitos. Shout out to Omnitos. Uh, Omnitos plays Fate Grand Order. And he needs to play that more often because I know how much he actually enjoys playing that game. And I'd like to see him play a game that he enjoys so much more uh, than Dokkan. Hashtag bad game. Uh, agree, Goshen. Chat is not friendly. Okay, so this is a long one here. Chat is not friendly. Yes. Chat filter sucks suit. Yes. Gosh, your system has to change. Yes. Uh, skill cooldown is ridiculous. Eh, you know what? The skill cooldowns don't, actually don't bother me so much. Surprisingly enough, they don't bother me that much. Uh Animations, though, you're talking about AOE animations taking a long time. Yes, and you know what? To be honest, they've actually come out more recently with skills that have quicker AOE abilities. None of this long 8 to 10 hit BS abilities. Like, now they're actually quicker abilities. Like, that Fire Spear skill that that came out with the Knight Order. Um, and then we have uh, that, what is it? The, the new spear from... Uh, Leafa, the bathing suit Leafa, which is a quick skill. So they, they're actually doing stuff like that. Uh, to, redeem the, to redeem the dungeon rewards is just torture. Yes, I agree. I hate that point system. It is so bad because it's so... You, like, you need so many points. And like when I say so many points, it's one thing to have so many points. And another one to have so many points. And holy crap, you need so many points in order to freaking get the rewards. Like You just don't want to run the dungeon that much. That's where, like, I prefer the event medals because the event medals are actually, if it's a lot faster to grind them. Uh, guild raid suck. The guild raid was okay. 
points required for redemption, that is hor horrendous. But the guild rate is okay. It could benefit better by having it be little less members instead of 30, maybe 20. And by raising up the guild member capacity from 30 to 50. Uh, I think that would make the guild rate so much better. But they did screw up the point system in the guild raid with the mediums being like this long ass list of points that you need versus the beginning need a small amount and the, the hardest one needed a small amount. I don't, I, it was just really bad. Just really bad. Why at Melon event they have duplicate items for redemption to release. Really yeah, I, so I don't know why they do that. I don't know why they do that. They moved on all NPCs at Black Iron. I already I adjusted that or uh, addressed that. And yeah, that's really bad. Uh, game's not developed by Bandai. It's developed by Ace of Beam. Yeah, I know. I, I See, I always forget the name. But when they terminate the English Twitter account, that's when the game starts to decline. Somebody mentioned that before. You're not the first person to mention it. Somebody mentioned it before. And um, yeah, I, you know, it's, it's really weird. I mean, I guess they got rid of the Twitter account because nobody can freaking translate properly. But whatever. Uh, this video needs more views. Uh, thank you. And share the video and maybe you get more views. Uh, SAO is supposed to be hard. Okay, so this one, hidden. Hidden, it, okay, so let me, I, I address this one, but SA was supposed to be hard. In the anime, only 500 active players are left out of 10K. Uh, actually, I think it was 2,000 2, active players, not 10K, not uh, 500. Uh, it goes to show where most players would be if this game was real. Yeah, but we're not talking about the game being real, and I wasn't complaining about the difficulty of the game because, the, to me, the game's not hard at all. It's actually pretty damn easy. Um, what I was complaining about was making it so that way we can enjoy the game more because a lot of the stuff that's currently in the game kind of pushes away, pushes us away as a community from enjoying the game um hopefully they will address the changes in the next update i i don't know bandai please fix this <laughs> i know it's just for bandai be good if for every skill record that you max okay so this all right so what he's talking about because i put like bleach brave soul what he's saying i'm going to go ahead and paraphrase it uh he's saying that for every Every uh, skill that you max out, they give you Arcana Gems. Um, Bleach Brave Souls does something like that. So every time you max out a character in Bleach Brave Souls, they give you the currency, which is the soul orbs uh, that you use in order to go ahead and summon on other banners for other, other units. So that's something that he's talking about, which I think would be a fantastic idea. That would be a fantastic idea for them to put that in. I don't know why I didn't heart that and like that. I commented on it, but I didn't heart it and like it. That's a fantastic idea. They should do that. Just clicked on, but what? I thought it was free to play. It is free to play, but it's not free to play friendly. <laughs> it should make a daily dungeon boss. That might drop a rare item, but you only go through it once a day. Um, that'd be okay. That'd be cool. I hope PvP comes to the game. Yeah, and I put yeah I put this because like a lot of people they want PvP, but PvP is cool, but it's not gonna save the game. Complete truth. I I really feel like linking the video to the Twitter. Do it, but they they don't have their English Twitter account anymore. Um actually kind of done with this now <laughs> i did 5k pulls on the kitty so banner all i got was two passives so anyone my, want my account let me know jesus ryan uh band i please hear this i really love the game fixes uh yeah i think they'll do part four uh with a guarantee so he's talking about the yeah he's talking about the uh, the banners doing part four on on i think it was the bathing suit banner or whatever uh, yep, missed the boss event, Dark Knight, or the Dark Elf event was my favorite boss. You know, I actually like that event. The Dark Elf was, like, pretty good on difficulty because you had to separate them. And and I, I thought that was a good difficulty uh, for a for an event, and they should bring events like that back. I hate these dungeon events with the boss at the end. No, just give us the boss, and then that's it. Like, let us farm those event medals. That, that was good. Don't fix it. It's not broke. Preach. <laughs> I mean, he's stating facts. Yeah, yeah. I guess uh, the dungeon run still has boss at the end. So he's talking cause it's like, it's more like the anime, but so then what I put is uh, what makes the dungeon runs bad are the point systems. Cause we get tired of it. And I didn't see that he responded to it. The boss battles also took a lot of runs to clear the whole shop too. What they should do is combine the two and have the boss at the end of the dungeon drop metals that you can. Oh, you know what? That wouldn't be bad. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Regular hunter. Um, I'd actually be okay with that. If they, if they had the point system but smaller amount of points and have the the medals, I think I'd be okay with that. That's like a good balance between the two if they wanted to do it that way. I personally want to get – I just want to zerg down a boss. You know, yes, honestly, yes. Yes, I'm with you there. I'm with you there. 
what he means Zerg down for those of you guys who never played StarCraft, basically you just send everybody at the boss and just down them and that's it. Um, so I'm, you can get a heart for that one. Again, that that's a that's a nice cut reference right there. Um, keep up the work, thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, completely agree. Pull rate is random, but the team play is best. The team play is good. Pull rate is 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 just shit. Uh, compare the game to how intelligence system is done with fire emblem heroes i never played fire emblem so i wouldn't be able to say uh but like i said here the biggest problem with bandai is that the, or with with bandai is that they do not develop the games in-house so there's no communication between the developers and the players because you got the developer they, they develop the game they send it to the bandai band is like okay and then we as the players get the short end of the stick on that one uh, they should put on max level cap for every floor because leveling up is really hard. I don't think that is such a good idea. That you know, I I don't see a, a max level cap for every floor actually like doing anything to fix the game. Um, but he he was he was also talking about like bosses dropping weapons and stuff. That's another video I have coming up. Uh, like you said, band uh, banner rates very very low, not and not confirmed oh okay it's a little hard to i mean he's talking about the ba the banner rates being trash and not um and not guaranteed i think that's what he's talking about i would love to send this to their facebook page everything you said is true i've been playing this game for a long time now i'm bored with it they should interpret all the above and things along with maybe adding addition optional pvp see there's the pvp again not just pvp on the normal grinding map because that would turn people away from the game i've said that in live streams that's a good point, Katie. You get yourself a heart for that, just for that comment. Uh, because I said it before, like, if you're going to do PvP, it would have to be in a designated area because you're going to turn people away. Even though it's not, it wouldn't be like like it was in the anime where it's just PvP wherever and you become a red player. But if they did that, you'd actually have less people playing. You know, and then she goes to talk about how, um, how they should implement... Uh, or that the drop rate for the avatars is like so low and it's true. It, it's really bad. Uh, tell it right on Dunder Cap. Yeah. Please do it. Teach them on the ways of fixing Sword Online Integral Factory. They need help more than they know. They need players like us to actually scope and mold the game for them because of BS. They have to go through. Dude, this is like, I don't know. I don't know what it. Oh, there's no punctuation. That's why it's difficult to read. <laughs> uh, I have to go through the jewels and gems is unnecessary. Un uh, unnecessary unfair for me to be such a great grinder and passion so basically he likes to grind but there's just so many pro so many problems with the grinding that's in the game uh that's my interpretation of what he's saying uh, they will never care stop crying nobody's crying i'm gonna give you a thumbs up anyways nobody's crying we just want the game to be better and yeah you know what they probably will never care i hope you're doing okay um yeah i'm fine uh egoshin do we need to pay 2500 arcana gems for the next video it's already out buddy okay jokes aside i agree with you i totally agree this game in my opinion for me is like a zombie i just played because of how long i've been playing it and you know what that's the problem that i had with dokkan and i don't want to have the problem with this game um and here i already read kind of read this i skimmed through it this is part two to the dude who gave like a lot of uh suggestions more rants about the game that needs to be fixed part two the party system needs fixing there's an annoying bug uh, yes. Okay. So what he's saying is that when you go into a party, there's a bug where sometimes it, or it won't show them in your party until you go to another map. That's what he's talking about. Uh, another problem with the recent event melon is we cannot invite other players into the party. Yeah. You have to get out of the map. I don't know what the hell that's about. Another bad thing is about the game is that different game channels in the server. They should include an option where you can select the channel servers you wish for each player to use. Now the problem I see with players having problems meeting each other. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't have a, problem with that because it is cross server so I don't, I don't really have a problem with that the the only problem i have as far as that because he's talking about the only way to add, to get people into your service to invite them on the party um or have them in the guild and stuff like that i don't i don't have a problem with that that actually helps to reduce lag in the servers uh the portal exit for boss battles dungeon maps needs to be timed properly I, i've never experienced that bug this guy's talking like when you try to leave the the boss that that by the time you leave the boss you're dead because there's there's apparently a lag i've never had that problem so i can't really say from experience um that i know about that bug and i don't, i've never seen anybody else have that bug uh, map bugs are often occurrence in the game game shuts down unexpectedly crash unwantedly uh, that's only for many uh i've noticed that the map bugs are actually tied to your phone so 
that's more of a compatibility issue that they do need to adjust. They need to make the game more compatible with other devices, but because of the high demand for the for the game, you need to have a powerful phone. So that's that's what that problem is. That's more of a, a compatibility on phone issues. I don't have that problem if I'm playing BlueStacks and I crank up the RAM on it. I don't have that problem on my phone either. Uh, why put NPC in boss fights? Yeah, so he's talking about like when you go and fight a boss for the first time, the NPCs are there and they do nothing. They just run and, and do fake attacks. They don't they do not do anything. So you'll have like 10 people rushing a boss, like 10 of the SAO characters rushing a boss, and they do no damage. They do absolutely nothing. So that's what he's talking about. Um, and I agree with you on that. They should actually hurt the boss. Nowadays, when you play, do you notice the event rush like up two weeks? As That's always been there, though. That's always been there. Like the event would drop, so the event medals would drop, and then two weeks would be the time limit to farm the, the event. That's always been there. Uh, to report modders and harassers, the only way you can do it is if they say chat or talk something. Uh, you cannot report with other ways like using player search. I, I don't, I've don't. i never reported anybody, so I don't know that. Uh, why did they set expiry dates for certain items when they sent out the gifts? Um, that's to limit server uh, um, issues with server. Every gacha game does that. So they'll send out gifts and stuff like that, and they'll have a time limit. So you need to redeem it within that time limit or else it's just going to stay in your box forever if there's no time limit and it just eats up data on the server uh let's see we all know nowadays many players resort to play cheating okay so he's talking about mods um and he's talking about uh let's see game user f the game was user friendly unfortunately the cheat came because things were getting harder to achieve you know i i don't think that's why i mean cheating comes hand in hand with games to be honest modding just happens um I don't think it's because the game got harder. Honestly, I don't. I don't feel like the game is that hard, as I mentioned before. So, I mean, that's that's just me. That's how I feel. I mean, I, I know some of you guys feel differently about that. The game is actually, you know, pretty difficult. I don't feel like it's that hard. Um, you know, it, it, a lot of it is just learning the the attack patterns of bosses and stuff like that. But I mean, that's so that that's it for the video. Like, I, I wanted to go through all these comments because I I was like really surprised that so many people got involved with these comments and like I, I'm, I'm actually really happy that you guys did get involved with the comments because it, it just makes it more fun and makes it for more of an interesting video so um like i said at the end of this video probably like here or you know down here somewhere uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put a link to the video that we're talking about here and i'm also going to put a link to the the video that uh, you know the most recent video which is um we're discussing uh free to play four star skills that that they should put into the game that you know to make it farmable so go ahead and hit that like button subscribe if you guys are new and i'll catch you in the next discussion because these are fun i like these these are really fun so peace out for now guys